Well, some good news to report tonight for DDOT drivers in danger. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaked is uncovering how millions will be spent to pay for cops to ride those buses 24-7. The fact that cops are going to be riding DDOT buses 24-7 is not just great news for the drivers who work here, but also for the passengers who are welcoming a safe environment. After unprecedented violence on DDOT buses and riding to see a lack of security for ourselves, we've gone to work to get results. On the heels of a 7 Action News investigation, a new transit police force is now officially approved. We are absolutely obligated to make sure our citizens are safe. We're going to start a unit uh, of police officers that are dedicated to do nothing but provide uh, safety. The general fund will pay just over $2 million to merge existing officers on the people mover with DDOT into a bigger, better transit authority. We told passengers the good news about hiring roughly three dozen new cops. They told us it's been a long wait. Other cities that got it going on, like New York or in Atlanta, why can't we have top-notch service and, and keep us safe? The bus drivers be, be safe driving on the bus, well as the passengers. As for surveillance cameras, some of them are already being put in. 50 buses will have them total by the end of the year, the rest by spring. Chief Operating Officer Gary Brown tells me expect to see these changes implemented within the next 90 days. This is huge when you consider more than 100,000 people rely on DDOT for transportation each day. Downtown Detroit, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.